When it comes to ignoring human rights and stifling free speech, well, Egypt's at it yet again. Over the weekend, three Al Jazeera journalists were sentenced to three years in prison for doing their jobs, or if we go by the judge's words, for spreading false news. The UN, human rights organizations, and news groups around the world condemn the sentences of Vahir Mohammed, Mohammed Fahmi, and Peter Gresta, who was tried in absentia. Fahmi's lawyer, Amel Clooney, put it like this. The verdict today sends a very dangerous message in Egypt. It sends a message that journalists can be locked up for simply doing their job. Clooney is now urging Egyptian President Sisi to pardon the charges. But this is the same man who, since taking power two years ago, has overseen mass killings and a tremendous crackdown on press freedom and political dissent. According to Amnesty International, more than 41,000 people have been arrested, charged, or indicted with a criminal offense or sentenced after unfair trials. This includes at least 18 imprisoned journalists. One of them is independent photojournalist Mahmoud Abu Zaid, known as Shoukan. He's been held without trial for more than 600 days. The government recently enacted a draconian anti-terrorism law, which broadens the definition of terrorism and penalizes journalists who don't toe the government line. Amid all this controversy, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs launched an English-language blog to counter what it says are foreign media's inaccurate reports about the country. But it's not just journalists on the government's hit list. Others arrested include human rights defenders and well-known bloggers. A lot of the arrests occurred after Egypt's protest law was instituted in November 2013. The law allows authorities to arrest and prosecute peaceful protesters and criminalizes the very act of protesting. Remember the famous mass protests in Egypt in 2011 during the so-called Arab Spring that led to the ouster of former President Hosni Mubarak? Well, many of the young activists who led those protests have been swept up in mass arrests and are still languishing behind bars. So where does the U.S. fit into all of this? Well, the U.S. gives Egypt $1.3 billion in military aid every year and considers it a top ally in the Middle East. In a trip to Egypt in early August, Secretary of State John Kerry reiterated the country's bond. The importance of Egypt and the importance of the relationship uh, can't be understated. And so your tax dollars continue to flow to Egypt where journalists are falsely accused and protesters sit behind bars. But don't expect to see that on the foreign ministry's new blog.